And back in Taiwan, the recent cold spell brought serious damage to Taiwan's agricultural industry, with losses estimated at 44 million NT dollars. President Ma ying and Premier designate Simon Cheng inspected agricultural and aquacultural damage around Taiwan today, promising subsidies to help farmers ahead of the upcoming Lunar New Year holiday. President Ma ying visited the strawberry farm high in the mountains of Miaoli County. This is his first stop inspecting farms that were badly hit in the recent cold front. We should cherish resources and do not waste anything. Try to harvest as much fruit as possible if they are still edible. Premier designate Simon Zhang headed to Tainan as the city suffered the largest agricultural losses in Taiwan. He was accompanied by Tainan Mayor Lai Qingde on an inspection visit to view aquaculture losses in the Qigu area. A fisherman uses a net to bring in dead milkfish, which were frozen to death. With Lunar New Year just 10 days away, these losses are catastrophic for the aquaculture industry. I am saddened to see these losses. The central government will work with the Tainan city government. I have laid out some principles. First of all, offering subsidies to fishermen so they can get money before the Lunar New Year. Secondly, the municipal government has already said it has decided how to assess compensation for farmers' losses. Tainan was the hardest hit area in Taiwan, with some 20 million NT dollars in agricultural losses due to the recent cold front. Other areas also suffering major damage include Yunlin and Miaoli. The Council of Agriculture established a subsidy program to help affected farmers and fishermen receive a cash allocation before the Lunar New Year holiday. When losses are assessed at 20 percent or more of the overall crop, farmers can apply for cash subsidies and a low-interest loan before February 4th.